Hey, what's going on, Action Figure Addicts? This is Seaspray, and I'm here yet again to give you your Action Figure Fix. Today, we're going to do another review. In front of you right now, we have Marvel Legends Claw. This is the revamp Marvel Legends series. Um, build a figure, Terax. This is figure number four in the series of Wave 1, and there's seven figures in the wave. So we just took a look at Steve Rogers, Hope Summers, Iron Man, and now we're taking a look at this guy. Next up is going to be, I think, Constrictor, then Ghost Rider, and then Thor, if I'm not mistaken. Just take a quick look at the package here. Uh, yep, pretty cool. So we're just going to take a quick look at the front of the package. You have Claw in there. Um, he comes with one of the legs for Terax, and yeah, looks pretty. I do have this figure already. I bought him loose, also with Constrictor, off my boy uh, Paint Customs, local homeboy. So a little shout out to you there, bro. If you guys don't know who this uh, this guy is, man, he's a great artist. He does a lot of customs, and he's just pretty sick, man. He does amazing work, and you just I can't even explain the stuff that he does, man. It just he does he did a Luke Cage, he did a, a Guido Strong guy. You gotta check this stuff out, man. It's sick. Uh, so yeah, Fraser Paint Customs is his name. Uh, check him out. So anyways, we have Claw. As you can see in there, looking nice, nice, nice. So I do like this figure. Like I said, I have it already, and I, I do like it. So um, let's take a quick look at the back here. So you got the artwork. This artwork, you know, on these Marvel Legends Wave 1, it's pretty simple, but, you know, it's pretty good nonetheless. There's a little bit of a write-up uh, under Claw's name here. If you care to read that, just check out my photos. And then you have all the figures on the bottom of the package here, 1 through 7. Steve Rogers, Hope Summers, Iron Man, Claw, Constrictor, Ghost Rider, and Thor. So one through six have build a figure pieces for Terax, and they're gonna, we're going to review that guy last after Thor. So stay tuned for that. So with that being said, you know what? Let's just take him out of the package now, and because um, uh, yeah, I like this guy a lot, and I like that silver in his, in his mouth and his eyes. It looks pretty sick. Okay, guys, let's do this. Okay, so here we have Claw out of the package, and uh, he is really nice, really cool looking. I've had this guy prior, him and Constrictor. Got the, I got them about a year ago or so, so I was familiar with them. So you know, nothing too too uh, out of the ordinary. But uh, doing the review now, and you know, I really, I still like these guys a year later, roughly, and pretty cool sculpt, I think. A nice character that's a little underrated. Uh, getting some spotlight so it's pretty cool so let's just do a little 360 of claw here really scrawny looking figure um, but it, it suits him colors are pretty simple but it uh, it suits the figure and it looks really nice and of course you got that giant claw thing or not his he's not it's not a claw it's uh, it's like a sound barrier projector thingy yeah that I want to stick with that one yeah Let's take a closer perspective up on this guy with the head sculpt that really stands out. Um, a lot of detail and colors in there. Looks really nice, nice clean sculpting. Nice. I really like the tone of the earth, of the, not the earth, duh. the skin tone, the fleshy skin tone they used for him. And I really like the silver in the eyes and the mouth. It looks pretty cool. You got the black outlining all the way around in his around his head and his ears and then you got that strip of purple on top of his head there it looks pretty cool and then you got this open mouth looking pretty menacing it looks really good leading into the body you know it's a simple muscular uh, scrawny tone frame it has with uh, you know purple trunks with the edged line trimming around his waist and his legs and you got this huge um, energy thing, sound thing on his right hand. Sculpted really well, painted really well, and it looks really good. And he got the little tiny hand on his left hand. Really simple, but it has a little bit of detail in there. Leading into the legs, just uh, you know some simple muscle definition. Really simple, all the way all the way down to the bottom to his feet. That's pretty much it, you know. His head can rotate 360. His arms can go up and down. They can go, go 360 at the upper bicep. Two points of movement at the elbow. And this hand does not move anywhere else. Everything's the same on this one. But his left hand can rotate 360 at 
the wrist and also go in and out. You can go in and out at the mid diaphragm, move 360 at the waist, rotate 360 at the upper thigh, and also 360 at the other point of the thigh here. You got the crotchal region point of movement, and then you got the thigh point there, and also the leg can go in and out. Really good movement on this guy, one of the better ones I think, out of Wave 1 of Marvel Legends. His knees can go in and out at the knee, uh, obviously, <laughs> uh, at two points I should say. Feet can rotate 360 and they can go in and out. Um, so, one of the better uh, articulated figures for sure. So that's it for today on this guy. This is Marvel Legends Wave 1 Claw. This is the video review by C Spray. And let me know what you think of this figure. Leave a comment. Please give this video a thumbs up if you wish. Share this video with your friends on Facebook. And definitely subscribe. That's it. Catch you later. And thanks for watching. Until next time. See ya.